Howdy folks, I'm Connor and today we are rolling on with our week of 2014 White Burgundy. Um, so if you've gotten a chance to talk to me in the shop since I started with the Ledoux's team a few months ago, you probably heard that I am a uh, very recent transplant from California. Uh, I've been drinking Californian wines pretty much all of my wine drinking life. Uh, part of that being proximity, but also that, you know, as a, uh, as a young 20-something, it can be a little intimidating to look at the prices on some of those really nice uh, Burgundies or Bordeaux and stuff. Um, fortunately, I have learned a lot recently, and uh, I'm going to be talking today about a producer and a region in Burgundy that might have the best value in, uh, in that whole legendary region, and that is Mekong. Um, it's a little bit further south, almost to Beaujolais, almost to Lyon, uh, but the soil composition is almost identical to what they have in the Côte d'Or. So uh, what I have is from Olivier Merlin, uh, again in Mekong, sort of an older producer, old school, doing organic style, but um, you know, never got too much into the really chemical stuff in the first place. Um, they were all doing you know, a few decades ago. So let's see how this one's doing. Mm. It definitely has like a bit of a, a stone fruit uh, aspect to this nose. Like a bit of grass there too. Very freshly cut, of course. Mm. Ooh, like it has this really nice pointed, definitely stone fruit aspect to it. If I'm picking one, it would probably be an apricot. Um, the other really nice aspect there is is like a nuttiness, almost what you might expect from something like Merceau. Uh, that especially comes through in, in a little bit of the texture. It's almost almost fibrous, has like this, this nice body to it, um, as well as the aftertaste has like an almond thing going on. But yeah, it's definitely like this this friendly, almost flirty thing that you don't necessarily associate burgundy with at first. But oh man, it's just killer. So this is something, it's gonna be $39.99 on our shelf, so it's not like it's you know, like a little $10 thing, but if this was coming out of the, the heart of burgundy, the Cote d'Or could easily be twice that expensive. So if you're looking for like, you know, something that's a little more, more fine wine to start your cellar, uh, maybe age for a little bit, I mean, you can absolutely drink it now, it's great. It's an awesome place to start um, because these are wines that are going to be way more expensive in like 10 years or so. Uh, check it out. Check out everything that we have been drinking. This 14 vintage really is awesome. Um, yeah, this Merlin's on a bad place to start. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.